Hello traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Wednesday, November 29th, and this is my analysis of the pound yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the monthly pound yen, I still think this is a one, and I still believe this is a ABC of two. I think we're currently in a wave three, and I do not believe the wave three is over. I still think it's gonna take out this high, probably up to the 161 to 194% Fibonacci extension before it makes a wave four and a wave wave five so let's take a look at it on the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame you have to notice ever since we ended what i think is a wave two and we made a one two of three i think this is all part of that wave three i think this is all just subdivisions of that wave three unless it goes down and takes out this major structure level i am gonna say for sure that it is gonna continue to make higher highs and higher lows so taking it down to the daily time frame even on the daily time frame we are continuing to make higher highs and higher lows we are definitely in an uptrend i see no reason at all to think this uptrend is over and i would for sure continue to look for longs at the end of pullbacks especially on the sort of time frames so let's head down to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame i got my fibonacci retracement as when this last push up i am looking at this move down as possibly a retracement now this does look a little bit like a trend to me it makes me think that it could be just a wave a but it also could be like a motor wave correction so if it breaks out of this level out of this trend line we test the trend line and makes a push up then i would definitely get long because it could possibly just keep on going up now on the other hand if it rejects this trend line right here, if it goes up and rejects it, maybe does something like that and, and then goes down, then that's probably telling us that it's going to make a traditional ABC correction before it does end up continuing the uptrend, which to me does seem pretty likely that you'll see a traditional ABC correction before it does end up continuing back up. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, I am definitely watching this trend line for an area of resistance. If it breaks out and holds above structure and then we test structure and then makes another impulsive move up, I would definitely get long because it's probably going to go up at that point. On the other hand, if it rejects this structure, goes down and breaks structure to the downside, I would actually take that as an A, a B, and then an entry to go short probably for the wave C. You could probably even take it down to like the 61 or possibly the 78% retracement of this last push up and then exit your short when you get a Fibonacci bounce and a breakup starts it to the upside and most likely at that point end up continuing the uptrend. All the higher time frames, especially the monthly, weekly and daily are telling us the trend is up. Shorter time frames, we need to continue to look for longs at the end of any pullbacks that we may see. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.